Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslow here. And have you guys heard about this new feature in T-Rex Miner? Well, they got a new feature that lets you unlock 100% of the hash rate potential of LHR cards. And it's doing this by mining two coins at the same time. So I figured let's just check that out in this video and I'll show you how to get that up and running on your GPUs and then we'll see just like what kind of hash rates we can get on our cards here which are a 3070 Ti, a 3070 LHR, a 3060 Ti LHR and a 3060 LHR so we'll check those out oh and by the way I'll select the winners for the Ravencoin giveaway at the end of this video so stay tuned for that if you entered uh, but yeah let's get over to the computer and let's get started all right so we're in the computer now and as you can see here I've got the 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070 and 3070 Ti and I've got an older version of T-Rex running here just so you can see that these are all LHR cards as you can see they get about half the hash rate they would normally get if they weren't LHR versions right so I just wanted to show you that real quick now let's get to downloading T-Rex miner shall we so good practice for downloading a miner is just open your file explorer and then make a folder wherever you want to download it. So I'm just gonna name this folder new T-Rex miner. And then you go into your system settings. You click update and security. You go to Windows security, virus and threat protection, manage settings. And then you scroll down here to exclusions and you hit add or remove exclusions and hit add an exclusion folder and you just select the folder that you just made and hit yes and the reason we do this is because most mining software will get falsely flagged as malware while it's not and so this is just a way to get around that or rather to negate that basically and so if you have additional antivirus software installed on your computer you might have to do something similar in that software as well so now that that's all done and we can open up our web browser and so i've just searched for t-rex miner here and something uh, nice that i noticed here when you search for t-rex in um, in google you get me and uh, all of my friends here so that, that's quite nice um, but anyway, what I usually do is I try to find the official Bitcoin talk thread about the T-Rex miner. And so the way you know it's the correct thread is it will be the one with like many, many, many pages of replies. The reason we do this is to make sure we're getting the correct download links. So we're not getting, you know, fake links that might have weird stuff at, you know, at the end of that of that download. So here we can see the official link to their GitHub. So that's where I'll go. And this is the version that you want, T-Rex 0.24.0. That is the one with the new LHR uh, dual unlock feature, right? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna download the Windows version by right clicking, save link as, and then I'm going to put this in the new folder that we made there we go and then I'll just open up that folder hit extract all and extract here there we go and here we have the new 24.0 t-rex version now before we get started let's just read what they have to say here about this new um, LHR dual mining unlock feature so what it says is you can get the full hash rate out of the card by mining two coins at the same time so they're using ethereum at around 30 percent of the full speed and then a different coin at around 70 percent of the full speed for a total of 100 percent of the hash rate that your card is capable of doing so here we can see the available combinations um, are ethereum plus ergo which works for any LHR card that has at least 8 gigs of VRAM. Uh, you can do Ethereum plus Ravencoin uh, on cards with 8 gigs of VRAM on Linux or 10 gigs or more on Windows. And you can do Ethereum plus 
Conflux on LHR cards with at least 10 gigs of VRAM. And then they also have a wiki page here that shows you how to use this mode more in depth. And I'll have a link to this page in the description of this video as well. Uh, but here we can find some recommended settings and setups for the different coin combinations. So for example, for ETH plus Ergo, we know that, that we already know that that requires at least eight gigs of VRAM of your GPUs. But here they also have some recommended like ballpark overclock settings, which I thought was really, really useful. Now, of course, you should always tweak your cards individually, but it's always good to get a sort of starting point that you can work you know, your way from. And so we see that here as well as you know what they expect the hash rates to be roughly for these cards and we have the same for ETH and Raven and ETH and Conflux so I figure let's just let's just jump into this and see what we can get all right so for dual mining Ethereum and Ergo on these LHR cards there are two things that we need to read here so the first thing is that to do this since Ergo can sometimes be uh, you know detected by the LHR limiter and then limited uh, What you need is you need to find Overclock settings that work for ergo without the LHR limiter kicking in on ergo So I know for a fact that ergo mining on my LHR 3070 is very much limited by the LHR limiter and There are only a few overclock settings. I can use on that GPU to even get it up to almost 100 mega hash on Ergo while it's, you know, non-LHR counterpart can do 180 mega hash. So what they do also say here before we get more into overclock settings is that if your GPU is LHR constrained on Ergo when you're only mining Ergo, uh, like no matter what overclock settings you get, the dual mode is not going to help you here basically but so as long as you can find some overclock settings that give you a decent result on ergo you should be fine on this so they even give you the uh, overclock setting like suggestions here and what i found was they worked really well for my 3060 and however for my 3070 ti the core clock i had to use was a little bit higher than this i had to do a 1620 in order for the LHR um, limiter not to kick in. And also, I just can't go to 1300 on my memory. That crashes my GPU. I have kind of bad silicon lottery on my 3070 Ti. I can actually only go up to 900. And they don't list a 3060 Ti or 3070 LHR here, but for my 3060 Ti, I just used my regular like Ethereum or Ergo overclock settings. And on my 3070 LHR, which is the uh, <laughs> the one with the really strong ergo limiter, I actually have to go, like I can go 1300 on the memory, but I have to go plus 200 on the core, uh, which is a bit strange, but that's the best result I can get on ergo with my 3070. So let us open up and edit our batch file. So I've got the LHR unlock dual ETH and ergo here. So I'm just gonna right click on that and hit edit and it will open up our batch file here. And so the very first thing you need to do if you want to put your overclock settings directly into T-Rex, in, at least in Windows, is you need to put the full path to where the um, T-Rex.exe file is. And so the easiest way of doing that is just come into the folder, hold shift and right click on the T-Rex.exe file and then hit copy as path. And then you can just paste that in right here. And that will allow you to run your batch file as an administrator, which is needed in order to overclock through T-Rex. And so the next thing, let's have a look at how this actually works. So you got your regular algorithm here, which is ET hash for mining Ethereum. And then you got your second algorithm here, the LHR algorithm, which is Autolycos 2 for Ergo, right? Then you have the pool address and port for your Ethereum pool you get your ethereum wallet address password and rig name for your ethereum pool and then you get your 
pool address and port for your ergo pool, wallet address and name and password for your ergo pool. And so then what you can do is you can add your overclock settings um, after this. So dash dash fan for either just a percentage of fan if you want to do it like that or if you're like me you can say a target temperature like this T colon and then 55 C on the core and so then here I've entered all of my overclock settings and I've got my core clock offset which I've only used on the 3070 as I said then I've used absolute core clocks on my other three cards and then the individual memory overclocks uh, for my four cards and so that is it and I've actually had this up and running for a while here and here we can see all the hash rates and I've actually I, I did the math and this very much checks out with what they said that you should get so we are getting around 30% of the full hash rate potential um, on Ethereum for all of these cards and we are getting around 70% of the full hash rate potential on Ergo for all these cards which is excellent so this definitely works <laughs> um, but let's try some other algorithms too shall we and so for these next two coins which is ethereum and ravencoin dual mining you actually need 10 gigabytes of vram if you're running windows like i am which means i will only be able to test this on my 3060 so i guess that's what we'll do so i'll come over here and i'll edit my dual mine eth and raven batch file and then we can see our main algo is eth hash our lhr algo is core power for ravencoin we got our ethereum pool and port ethereum wallet password and rig name for the pool and then we got our pool address and port for ravencoin wallet address and rig name for Ravencoin and password for our Ravencoin pool. And so since I can only try this on my 3060, I'll have to select that in device. So I'll put dash dash devices and the device number for my 3060 was one. And then I can enter my overclock settings again. And so the recommended overclock settings they give you for dual mining Ethan Raven on a 3060 is power limit 60%, mem 1300 and core at zero now i know for a fact that i'll crash uh, at 1300 so what i'll do is i'll do power limit at 60 like they say and i'll do core clock at zero like they say but i'll have to do my memory clock at 1200 which that is the max uh, my 3060 will go. All right, so with their recommended overclock settings, I'm getting, yeah, definitely the results I expected around 13 and a half mega hash on both coins, which checks out with being around 70% and 30% of what I'd expect at this power limit and these overclock settings. But now I noticed that I got a little bit of a slower hash rate than they expect on Ethereum for my 3060 but that more than likely has to do with the fact that I can't go all the way up to 1300 on my memory overclock on my 3060 so I'll, I'll just jot that down to that and let's move on to dual mining Ethereum with Conflux shall we? So we can see here overclock settings uh, are basically the same for Conflux as Raven when dual mining with Ethereum. Again, I can only run this ETH and Conflux dual mining on my 3060 because it's the only card I have that has enough VRAM. And I got my batch file open here. And as you can see, I've entered the full path to my T-Rex executable. And it's following the exact same style as all the other one. You get your main algo being ETH hash. Then you got your LHR algo, which is Octopus for Conflux. You got your Ethereum mining pool and port, your Ethereum wallet address, your pool password and worker name, and then you got your Conflux pool address and port, your username for the Conflux pool if that's needed, plus your rig name and the password, 
and then I've just entered again that I'm only using my device number one, which is my 3060, and I've got the same overclock numbers as I used on um, dual mining Ravencoin with ETH. So let's see what kind of hash rates we get. All right, so we're up and running uh, our dual mine for Conflux and Ethereum, and we're getting some really impressive hash rates here, actually. We're getting almost 15 mega hash on Ethereum, which... That's amazing. And then we're getting around 28. Yeah, around 28. Wow, we're even over 15 mega hash on Ethereum now. And yeah, just around 28 on Conflux, which, yeah, I mean, that's even more than they expected here. So that's really cool. Now, T Rex Miner also features a second LHR unlock mode, which lets you unlock about 70% of the full hash rate on mining Ethereum on LHR cards. But of course, that lets you only mine Ethereum, not two coins at the same time. But so what I figured was, let's pit those two modes against each other uh, in terms of profitability. So what I've done is I've just run all my four LHR cards with the regular LHR unlock that lets you get about 70% of the full LHR hash rate. And as we can see here, these are the hash rates that I'm getting for all of these cards. And what I have done uh, is I've entered all of these numbers into what to mine. So let's have a look at that and we can sort of compare profitability as it stands currently. So what we got here is the current profitability of just running all four cards on the 70% unlock for Ethereum. And as you can see with uh, today's profitability, that would gain us about $11.31 per day. However, running all four cards on the dual mining Ethereum with Ergo would gain us $7.54 plus $4.70. So if we just get our calculator up here, we got $7.54 plus $4.70, which is twelve dollars and twenty four cents which would be about a dollar well pretty much exactly 90 cents more every single day which that is amazing news for mining on lhr cards but so let's also compare the other algorithms which we can do using our 3060 so first of all we got our 3060 running 70 percent on ethereum which would gain us about just above $2 per day. And then we've got, of course, our 3060 on Ethereum and Ergo, which would give us $1.57 in Ergo, plus another 78 cents in Ethereum. So $2.35, which is, yeah, about, well, exactly 32 cents more than if we were to just mine Ethereum. So let's move over to Ethereum and Conflux. So there we've got $1.50 cents plus 89 cents for a total of $2.39. So 36 cents more than just mining Ethereum. And finally, Ethereum and Ravencoin where we get $1.49 plus 81 cents for a total of $2.30, which of course is 27 cents more than if we were to just mine Ethereum on this card. That's, um, I mean, that is significant. That's more than like a 10% increase in profitability. Really cool. All right, now let's pick the winners for the Ravencoin giveaway. So I got the video loaded up here and let's just get the comments and let's pick a random comment and see who we get. Okay, so this is someone who's entered their Ravencoin address. Now let's double check that they've actually been mining on the uh, minerpool.org pool because that was part of the giveaway. You had to mine on their pool. So let's paste their Ravencoin address here. And let's see what we got.
Okay, so yeah, it seems that they did mine on this pool for a little while. So congratulations to Steven Mathiasen. You're one of the two winners. Now let's pick a second winner. Okay, so we got Mark Perez. And let's copy his Ravencoin address here. And let's see if he's been mining to the pool. Yes, he has, and for a long time too. Cool. Congratulations to Mark Perez and Steven. You're the winners of 500 Ravencoin each. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm really impressed by just how quickly mining profitability has gone up and up and up on LHR cards as, you know, miners have added all of these LHR unlock modes. And we're getting really close to just being as profitable as non-LHR cards, which is incredible. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. I'd really appreciate it. And what you gotta do now is you gotta click on that next video on the screen, because this video is over. You can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye-bye.